There was a time not so long ago where we wondered when the next DJI release might actually be coming. It felt for a while there that releases had slowed to an almost halt. Well, the last year or so has certainly made up for that feeling with lots of pretty amazing releases from DJI hitting the shelves. This includes some of the most highly anticipated consumer drones like the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3. But what happened to the entry level Mavic 3 we were all expecting to see and getting quite excited about? Will the competitively priced scaled down Mavic 3 be here soon? Today, we have all the latest rumor and facts surrounding the release, including specs, price, release date, and more. So stay tuned. As the video goes on, let me know in the comments if you are tempted by a cheaper, lower spec version of the Mavic 3 and why it tempts you. Did you skip the original Mavic 3 on price or something else? First up, what is the scaled down version of the Mavic 3 you speak of, Sean? Well, it has taken the name of the Mavic 3 Classic and it will share many of the advantages of the main Mavic 3, but will be offered at a reduced price. This means the drone will be somewhat downgraded, but I don't think you're going to be disappointed because the only thing it looks like they are removing will be the tele lens camera, leaving behind the oh so sexy main camera. How do we know it's coming pretty soon? Well, whenever a drone manufacturer releases a product in the United States, they need to gain an FCC license for the product to show it reaches their standards. When this happens, a certain amount of information appears on the FCC filings website, although much of the information that could be commercially sensitive is of course redacted, but it tells us that a shiny new drone is on the way. Typically, when it appears on this database, you can usually expect a DJI release within the next few weeks. Well, we have an FCC filing for the Mavic 3 Classic, which has appeared in the last few days in the form of what is called a class two permissive change. The FCC explainer tells us that this change is applied for when modifications downgrade the performance characteristics as reported to the commission at the original initial certification. So as DJI are downgrading the Mavic 3 to create the classic model, that is what they've applied for here. As you can see from this official letter from DJI to the FCC, they state that the differences lie only in the model number and some minor circuiting components. As follows, the two cameras have been reduced to one and the corresponding lens versions have also been changed. The 2.4 G filter has changed and a few other components that won't really change anything on how you fly the drone, but interestingly, enabling the Galileo receiver function through software. So we have confirmation from DJI themselves that a single camera Mavic 3 is on the way. In terms of when, well, the 27th of October this month is where some of the smart money is being placed, which would put it squarely in the sights of the holiday spending habits of the worldwide drone community. I see no reason and have no information to contradict this release date, so I would agree we are more than likely going to see the new Mavic 3 Classic before the end of October. The other hint that the release is getting much closer is the so-called picture leaks starting to appear with more frequency. One of the best sources for these picks is Twitter account Deals Drone, who get a lot of good quality info before any DJI release. So they are worth a follow over on Twitter. Whilst you're over there, give Geeks Finder a follow. And whilst we're talking about all that kind of stuff, hit subscribe here on YouTube if you're new to the channel and hit the like button too. It really helps the video. Looking at some of the latest pictures dropped on Twitter and we see a very recognizable Mavic 3 with indeed that single camera with the Hasselblad H emblazoned on the front. The drone seems to be otherwise the same as its more expensive cousin, but it retains that oh so excellent primary camera, which boasts some impressive specs. It will be interesting to see the final list of specs if DJI actually decide to restrict any of the capabilities of the camera to push sales from coming away too much from the main Mavic 3. I doubt it, as it will probably also make this new classic version fail, and I know of no plans to do so, but it wouldn't be outside of the realms completely. If we do see the same camera specs, then we should expect to see up to 5.1K video resolution at 50 frames a second and a single shot of 20 megapixel for stills. The main camera was one of the highlights of the original Mavic 3 launch, and it makes the classic model something to be reckoned with. All of this, and I would certainly expect the Mavic 3 Classic to enjoy a C1 rating gained by the main Mavic 3 and published recently by DJI. Although the details around how it will comply with all of the standards are still a little sketchy. And of course, remember that as it stands, this C1 label will not include the UK. 
We are waiting for information back from the CAA as and when they get confirmation from government. As you'll remember, here in the UK, we're looking to extend the transition period, etc. So we should get lots of clarity very soon, hopefully. OK, let's wake up the US audience who just drifted to sleep with all that UK and EU talk with some speculation over the price, shall we? Here again, in terms of smart money, we're looking at around $1,400 or pounds as the exchange rate is so close at the moment. And we're expecting to see a bundle, which I think could be the best value with the DJI RC controller, which for those with a fleet of drones is about to include the DJI Air 2S amongst the drones you can control with it. So despite it being a somewhat flawed controller in some ways, it does offer a good value screen controller for most of the drones you are probably flying at the moment. That's it on the info for now, but there will no doubt be tons of leaks coming up. Although as we know the specs and already have the main Mavic 3, I'm not sure the leaks will be particularly valuable this time, but if anything does come up of value, I will let you know. Sean out.